make sure that you thoroughly sort or pick the kale you know you always um, or sometimes you'll find some critters in there um, snail and other things so you have to sort through properly okay and to wash it you have to use a good bit of salt and I put a it's gonna put enough water in there to cover the kale just rinsing off the salt back off this Add the oil to the pot, add a little piece of the seasoning in there. Well, no, it's still not ready. I'm going to give it a few minutes more. Okay, so let's try this again. I'm going to add another piece of tomato to see. Yes, it's ready. So it's frying up, that's all you know, the oil is hot enough. I'm just going to add the onions now. I'm going to add a little bit more scallion there. I want it to be very tasty. The seasoning is frying up nicely. See? That's the way we want it. Nice and brown. Actually, it should be even browner than this, but... Um, you know what? I'm feeling kind of lazy today. So I'm just going to go ahead and add the kale now to it. And I've reduced the heat setting back down from high to a little more than medium. And I'm going to add the, um, the kale. Go ahead and add some Lauren's seasoning salt on it. As it's best when it cooks down with a little salt. So I'm just gonna stir in the, the Lauren's a little bit. Cover it up. Look at how it's decreased in bulk already. another ingredient some a little bit of um, balsamic vinegar stir all of that then as it cooks down you're gonna taste focus 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 look at this now you see so the water in there the steam now we're gonna cook it until that water evaporates out be a little bit more on the dry side because we're going to have it with um, fried dumplings yeah. so 20 minutes later guys and this is how it's cooked down look at the water content see it's almost dried out and we're just gonna let it here earlier that we're gonna eat it with fried dumplings so it has to be drier than this. Okay. See another 20 minutes or so later. And in here now, it's starting to fry up. See, the water has cooked out of it. Yeah, this is, this is what you want. That allows it to fry even further. Because you want it drier than this. Everybody have their own taste and own ways of doing things. If you'd like, you'd like to eat it at this stage, 
you can go ahead and have it. You know, but I'm gonna come back and show you. And it's been cooking on a little less than medium heat. Yeah, slow cooking is always better. Yeah. A few minutes later, guys, this is what it looks like, and I'm gonna move it away and show you. Uh, we could cook it down some more. Another time, perhaps I'll show you, but I'm just, we're just hungry. <laughs> and I want to get to frying the dumplings to go with it and eat it up. It's quite nice. I tasted it and it is delicious. All right, so you cook it down like that. You see it? Like it frying up, you hear it frying up. You see the oil almost, you see it? All right, so it's ready right there now. Ready for eating, ready like Freddy. I'm hungry. And I'm gonna start frying up the dumplings now to eat with it. So I'm gonna have to just turn it off at this point. But it's cooked. And I should mention that this is not a typical um, Jamaican dish. Uh, we don't really, we don't grow kale in Jamaica. So if you see kale there, it's um, imported. And um, yeah, so, but we learned to cook kale here. You just do what you have to do. It's a leafy green vegetable. It's good for your packed with iron and very delicious. Yeah, I think I prefer this more than some of the other vegetables, um, green vegetables that are out there. I always mention um, papaya and eating up all of them spinach, but I think I prefer um, the kale to the spinach. Well, thank you for tuning in. And I'm going to ask you, please subscribe if you have not. And if you are subscribed, thank you very much for continuing to support. And spread the word, share, like, comment, you know, if you'd like to see me cook um, anything, just uh, leave, me, leave me a message in the comment box, all right? Thumbs up. Thank you very much.